All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial on package managers, we're trying to pick another package manager from the Red Hat group of families. So we have Fedora, so that's what we're trying to work on. And then the most commonest and most powerful package manager in Red Hat group of units Destro is DNF, right? So there is RPM, there is DNF, there's VM. So we're trying to see how to work with DNF. So DNF is the uh, done, dandified yeah, right. So YAM is one of the package managers, but is DNF is the next generation YAM. So let's see how to work with DNF. So as we, as we already saw, a pack, package manager just sits as a middleman that allows you to be able to fetch packages from different repositories and then install them on your system and manage them on your system. That is the basic understanding behind a package manager. So let's see how to use DNF. So I'll go back to my system, which is here. And this is, I'm running it inside Docker because I can't switch to uh, Fedora, but now it's still the same. If I go with cat, etc OS lib, you can see that it is Fedora, right? And the version of Fedora I'm using is 38 and I'm running inside the Docker image. That just explains why, right? So this is Fedora that we are running. It is the same thing here, Fedora. So let's see how to work with it. So. By default, it will be already installed in your system. So just go with DNF, DNF, that does help. And you can see the various things you can do with it, right? So these are a lot of things. So with DNF, you can do so many, many things, right? You can do a lot of things. So you can check auto remove, you can check update, clean, deep list, destro group, history, info, and the rest. So we're trying to see how to work with them. So the version I'm using is DNF version. And now this is the version that is already installed on my system. You can see that I also have RPM also, right? Because it is federal. So let's see how to first of all check all the packages that are installed on our system. So you can just go with this. So sudo dnf, right? You can also go without the sudo list available. If I go with this option, it's going to list all the packages that are available on my system, right? You can see that now it's going to go to the repository and then fetch it and list all of them so these are packages that are available in their repository not on my system but in the repository somewhere right so it is going to keep an index of it and now these are all the available packages not on my system but in the repository which is quite huge right it's a lot of packages a lot of packages right now that is how to list all the packages in case you want to list all the packages that have been installed on your system you just go with the same thing instead of list you just go with installed and with this is going to list all the packages that have been installed on this particular system which is not a lot right as compared to the one that we had we can count the other one the previous one so we had this you can count it with you can just pipe it to wc l to count it so that's about 69,000. and now let's see the ones that are installed on our system which is quite few, right? So installed. And now this is just one, 148. So that is how to list all the packages that is available from the repository, from the index and available on your system, which is with the installed, right? You can also check all the recently updated packages. So we'll go with recent. And this is going to list all the recently installed packages, which if you go back to the first one, we had this right which is all the installed packages we can check the recent and then the wc is word count right so these are the recently updated packages from the from the repository pivot now let's see how to search for a particular package right so and then install it so in case i want to install a package it's very simple so i can just go with let's go with our favorite have player ctl I do not have player CTL on my system. So how do we install it? So you can just check with this option. So sudo DNF, right? Then you can just search for the package first. So search for player CTL. If I search for it, if it's available, it's going to list for me. So this is, it's going to give you a list of all the packages that we have, right? That has the name player CTL. And then this is the one that we have. This is the architecture. So there is one for this particular architecture, one for this particular architecture. There is development, there is docs and libs, but what we want is this one. So in case I want to install it, I can just go with this option here. So sudo 
dnf then i can just go with install my player ctl that is how to install it on your system and it's going to give you this information so the architecture which is this particular architecture that we are installing the version you are installing the repository which is picking from and the size then the dependencies that it's going to pick from this will give you the option do you want to install it so let's go with yes and now we have installed it on our system right very simple so that is how to install on your system any package with dnf just go with sudo dnf install then any of the package perfect now you can also in case you want to check if a package exists right on your system before installing you can also go with this option here so the simplest way of searching if a package is already exist right remember that we did this to get the list of all the packages so you can actually pipe it with there's a simplest option so grip right and the name of the package so let's say i want to check if a particular package is installed so let's say vlc and there's no result but if i go with the player ctl so now we have it right so that is how to check if a package is installed or not you just list all the installed packages then use grip to search for that particular package right in case the package is also not in, not available right you can just go on straight away now let's see how to remove a package so sudo dnf then we want to remove the package so remove then the package we installed was player ctl that is how to install it's going to tell you that, okay you want to remove this package yes i want to remove it that's how to remove a package right so we have seen how to install we have seen how to remove a package perfect Perfect. So as we said earlier on, in the, our diagram, there is a repository, right, where it's going to fetch from. So in case you want to check if a package is also installed, right, if you, you can also check the repository. So in case you want to know the repositories that are available that you can get from, you can also check for that one. So how do you do that? So I'll go back again and just go with my sudo. We have, or you can just go straight away with dnf, repo, list, all. It's going to list all the different repositories that it goes to fetch right and the ones that have been enabled on the system by default so you can see that fedora is enabled on the system and then these ones are also enabled right so if you go up 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 you could see that it gave us an information of where it picks some of these packages right so that is one of the ways so these are all the enabled repositories the repo name and then it's going to look at it and fetch for it right perfect so you see that update is also enabled in case you want any updates okay you can also you can also check those that are enabled right so just as we have disabled enabled enabled you can check the packages that are enabled with the same option so you can just go with dnf repo list then enabled and this is going to list all the packages that are enabled on a system where you can fetch stuff from right so this is just sorting these ones out as you could see you can also get for disabled and the rest but enabled and then all you can also re query the repository right in case you want to check if a package exists we saw that we could do this dnf d dnf right you can also repo do repo query to check if a particular package exists and it goes with this option so let's go with help to see how it works so we have all of these things you can do with the repo query so you can query a particular repository to see what you want to do right so we have kill v version install node all of this there is also this option here so what depends shows result that requires suggest suggestions and stuff what requires what enhance what suggests so you can query them for all of these respective results right very cool so you can also do another one for what requires for a particular package so what are the requirements for a particular package so with this option here you can also do that so let's try that one out so it's going to be the same thing we did here then instead of this we just go touch touch what requires then you just give the name of the package right so this then let's give a name like let's say i want to check if there's vlc and now there's nothing there right so this package is not installed but if the package was installed you, you see this so let's try and install another package so sudo dnf right then let's install our favorite package so install you can also install multiple packages together so let's go with my player ctl and then vlc you can also install packages right so player ctl this was not installed because it's not available now if i go back and i check we don't get any information but if i do for 
the player ctl if it's installed it gives us the information so there's another way you can check if a pack particular package is installed right using this option perfect so you have seen two methods you have seen how to use repo query to fetch and see if a package is installed on your system now let's install vlc right on our system so you can also do sudo or we can just go without it so sudo dnf install or we can search for the name for vlc and there is nothing for vlc right because vlc is not available it may be with a different name so you have to check it out also perfect how do you upgrade a package so let's say there's a new version of a package and you want to upgrade it so you can just go with this option so sudo right and then you just go with dnf dnf then upgrade so upgrade then the name of the package so player ctl and if the package is available if there's an update it's going to check it and then give us an update so no packages mark for upgrade so this was not you cannot upgrade it because in the latest version in case i go with without the package name it's going to upgrade the entire system right so these are all the packages that is up upgrading on your system right and then you can just go with the size yes now it's going to upgrade all of these packages on your system right very cool that is very nice so that is most of the things you have to do with dnf perfect let's see one more thing so in case you also want to check the history of all that you have done you can just go with sudo or without the sudo you can just go with dnf history and this is going to give you the history of everything i have done so i have created the system that is the most recent then i installed i installed initially i installed player ctl and then i removed player ctl this is very useful so in case you assess admin on a system and you can just check with the dnf history to see everything that has been done by other people right so there's an installation at this particular time there's a removal and then there's an upgrade right very useful feature which is not common in most of the package managers but it is very useful another nice thing about dnf is that you can also install packages in groups so if i check for something like nmap right i don't have nmap on my system if i check for dig i don't have them on my system if i check for nc i don't have so there are some network tools or some security tools or there are some group of tools that you want group of packages that you want you can also use dnf to also get packages in group so let's try an example so if i go with sudo so let's go with sudo dnf then let's say group then list so this is going to check it out and then list all the different groups of packages that we have for dnf right so there is a lot so we have the available environment groups right we have available groups that you have so we have the 3d printing admin tools audio production bagel bagel the bagel but key cloud management tools which is very interesting cloud infrastructure i hope there's ai tools <laughs> development tools we have network servers we have security lab several to several groups right so you can actually see the groups and you can also check and see if a particular group exist with this option as we saw and see the packages that they belong to so i can try again from what we have let's go back here we already have it here so you can just go with my dnf group list to have it all of here and then inside here we want to check for the packages that belong to your but for all the little individual packages that belong to a particular group so you can do the same thing with this we just sudo dnf group then info then i can just put in the particular group of package so let's say i want a network i can go right we have network we had a network service here you can just go with network service it's i think it's not key sensitive so to still pick it you can see that now it's going to check it out and list all the different these packages include network based service such as dhp kberos all of these are the optional packages there that belongs to this particular group very cool right you can try another one so let's say we want to get for let's say development tools right so let's try that one out with the same option then i'm going to change it from here to development 
tools, right? And this is quite a lot, right? So there are a lot of tools. There is a git and s, wow. There is a git cola, there is a git g. There is oxygen, doxygen, diff start. These are very wonderful packages. So it gives you a lot of information, right? So that you have a group of tools that you want to install on your system, which is a very nice feature. So in case you want to install all of these tools that we have, so for example, for the development tools, I can just go back again and do this. So instead of group, I can just go with group, install, and this is going to be taking a lot of time, right? So this is the amount of packages that is going to be installed, which is quite huge, right? Because I'm installing development tools, right? So it's going to pick all the packages that belong to dependent uh, development tools, which is the development tools we had here, right? From our group list, and then it's going to install the packages together with their dependencies. And that is quite a lot, right? Which is quite huge. So that is how uh, one nice thing about it, which is very cool. So you will not install them, you just skip them. You can also remove a group. So with this, you can check it out. You can also remove all the group, which is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So remove, and you can also remove per group, right? If these tools are installed there. So let's pick something for, I want to pick info on security. So let's say I want to pick something that is not a lot. So we have uh, security. Hope there is something, there's nothing here, but it's called security lab. Yeah, which is quite a lot. If I'm going to install it, it's going to be quite huge. There is OpenSSH, there is off crack, which is very cool. There's PS scan, there is Pgwen, there is nmap, there is nmap, there is nmap, cool right there's nicto and great very cool tools so you can get all the packages there using the list and then you can also remove them right? so in case you don't want them you just go with remove right that is very very cool so these are very useful features that dnf supplies that makes it very useful when you're working in yeah so there's nothing there nothing to do now in case i want to check all the things I've done, as we already saw, you can check it out. So thank you for watching this long and exciting tutorial. We have seen several commands that we can work with. If I go to my history, we have seen how to work with DNF, right? You have seen how to list available packages. You have seen how to install packages, check the total number of packages installed, those that are installed, those that are available in the repository, check recently updated or downloaded packages. We have seen how to search for packages, how to install them. We have seen how to ch check if a package exists, how to remove or uninstall the package. You have seen how to work with repositories, right? Which is very cool. You have seen how to list those, the location where it's going to fetch them from. And we have seen how to query our repository. We have seen how to also do some upgrade. We saw how to also work with groups, right? Which is a very nice feature. Perfect. So thank you for watching and let's see all that we have done so far. So DNF, we have history and then yeah, perfect. So thank you for watching. See you another time. And let me know your opinion about this series of packet managers, if it's very good and if it's exciting for you. Check the links below for more. Adios. Paka paka. Choose. For a bonus tip, one thing we forgot is that in case you also want to list the a, a, the dependencies of a package you can also go with dnf my package so dip list and then you can just pass in the package so in case i have my player ctl or let's say nmap it's going to list the dependencies right which is very useful right very cool that is one bonus point see you